Bonham. How are you? I'm real well. Real well. I, it's great to be back. I haven't been here. It feels like I haven't been here for a year. You haven't? Oh, it's almost. <laughs> <laughs> I've been up in Sydney doing a, a series with the ABC. Yeah, you're doing with uh, Debbie, I think. Debbie you. Byrne. Yeah, I'll tell yeah. you, I, I must say this at the outset. Debbie Byrne is one of the most talented people I've ever worked with oh. in my whole life. She's amazing. Yes, she's a, a beautiful little girl, and she's very, very talented. Is, you know, it was a funny thing one time. Have uh, uh, people ever mistaken you for brother and sister, you and Debbie Byrne? No, it was always uh, little Patty and myself, actually. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> well, there is a similarity. Since you've yeah. had your hair cut, though, it's different. Yeah, I'll show me. He's a bit yeah. now. I once saw a picture of Debbie Byrne on a cover of a TV Times or something, and I, for, at first glance, I thought it was you. That was probably the way she was standing, Don. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say that, Debbie. I'm over here being very innocent. I'm not. Yeah. So besides the ABC thing that you're doing, uh, you've got this album. Now, this is what's kept you away, I think. Most yeah, of the well, time. And... basically, I, I, was, I was doing the TV show and coming back to Melbourne to do the album at the same time. Mm. Now it's finished. Uh, it should be out, I think, in the last week of July. Talk about the album for a minute. Talk about the fact that uh, you've never experienced doing an album this way before. No, never. I, well, I am... Tell the difference. I mean, it's a... Well, I, I've never been involved from as much as I have been in this particular one. I mean, I, I just... Because uh, my early recordings, I never really had time. I was around the country all over the place and running around like a rat bag, you know. And yeah. I, I finally decided that I would get involved totally and completely with this one. And I did. And I'm very glad I did. I mean, I was there for, for the sessions and uh, I even played maracas on one of the things. Uh, did you? Very badly. And they had to have it redone. But uh, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. That's you know? you. Johnny, Johnny Farnham's maracas has to be redone. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. Graham Goble from the Little River Band uh, yeah. wrote most of the songs. And he produced it. I always thought I sang in tune, but he's incredible. He's got a sight on both ears. <laughs> it really is amazing. You must be happy about the Royal Charity Concert. I, I was so thrilled for you sitting at uh, home. It was just amazing. It uh, was. I think that was the greatest experience of my life. Mm. Um, I, I, I did, that's all I can explain it as. I mean, it was just amazing singing with Tommy and that amazing little band. Yeah, that's had. right. I forgot that was your conductor uh, over there. The, I don't. I really don't. I, I don't think there's any other musical director in the world that could have done that. He really. Mm. He covered. The whole spectrum of music. You may appreciate that applause, that applause, but I don't. He's Hungarian and will definitely <laughs> ask for more money. I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, was, it was just amazing. The feeling at the Opera House was just electric. It was mm. really exciting. I couldn't believe I was on the show. The amazing thing was it came across that way too at home. It yeah. was just a, an astounding set you were in. Oh, you know, I don't have to tell you uh, anytime you want. Thank you, Don, very much. See you again. Thanks, Bob. Please welcome her now, Kate Blanchard.